So let's take a look at Scatter 5 for Blender. It's probably the most fun you can have with your clothes on. <laughs> let's begin. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now first and foremost, let's get the formalities out of the way. Is it worth the money? Absolutely. Should you buy it? Yes, if you can afford to buy it, I recommend it. Is there an affiliation link down below? Of course there is. If you want to support the channel, please click on the link. So now that we're kind of on the same page, let me introduce you to Scatter5. Really, this needs no introduction. But the developers have kind of taken it up to the next level with the latest version. It's absolutely fantastic. They've added a whole bunch of different options. Now, I could sit and go through the manual. I could explain every single feature to you. But the best way to do it is just quickly jump into Blender and we'll take it for a quick spin. So I have this object here. Now most people associate scatter with things like grass, flowers, trees, stuff like this. But you can pretty much distribute anything that you want. You could have buildings, you could have pipes, you could have anything that your imagination will let you dictate. Let's quickly open up the end panel on the right hand side. You can see here scatter 5. Now once you have everything installed, it's pretty easy to get started. We'll use the dropper tool and we'll select the cranial. Now we get presented with a whole bunch of presets, so we can actually set up presets but I'm going to skip over that and I'm going to go straight to the scatter biome stuff because that's where the most fun is had. You can see here I can open up the library and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly reload the library. Now when it comes to scatter packs I have the pro version so it's just the basic stuff to be honest but I was checking out Blender Market there and I think I'm going to pick up some additional packs over the weekend. You have things like Gardener. Now you've got to keep things in check here. $99 for a whole bunch of assets, is it worth it? Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Just think how long it would take you to make flowers, grass, trees, stuff like this. And these assets for $99, you're getting a bargain to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly drop down Grass 07 onto the object. You can see here that it quickly imports it from the file and instantly we have this nice grass setup. Now, this is passable already, but when it comes to tweaking and manipulating the data, you're pretty much unlimited. So let's take a quick look. Now system list is generally where you select the items. Distribution is where you change the distribution of the object obviously. So you can change things like how many particles per square meters. So as a secondary layer of control, you can use things like mask, you can use vertex groups, vertex colors, images, stuff like this. But I'm just going to throw absolutely everything onto this object. Now this actually supports things like wind and animation which is pretty cool. It also supports things like collisions and proximity. So let's say for example you have like a big object in the scene, it will actually avoid that object which is nice and handy. I'm pretty satisfied with these basic results. So I'm going to add in something else. Let's take a look at rock planes. Uh, number 5 looks good to me, let's import that into the object, let's see what we get. Nice, it's looking pretty epic already. Now what you can do on the right hand side is actually disable things inside of the viewport. Now I'm pretty fortunate, my computer's pretty beastly to be honest, but I'm going to select these rock planes. I would like to dictate where the rocks actually land, so I'm actually going to go down to abiotic, I believe that's how it says, and I'm going to change this to elevation. So I'm actually going to change the elevation down a little bit, just so it's around the jaw area. Now, I'm not very happy with the density, so I can come back up to the density and I can actually spank this up just a little bit more. Yay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Honestly, it's so much fun just playing around with these basic options. Now you may have noticed that we actually had control over things like elevation, curvature, stuff like this. So we can pretty much dictate where we want the geometry to land. So I'm going to add in another one, why not, let's go mental. Uh, let's add in things like bushes. <laughs> and let's do a bush 05. And we're starting to get somewhere pretty quick. Now, I want more red poppies, so I'm going to select the poppies and I'm going to put the distribution way up. Check that out, it's looking pretty good already. Now, I'm not very happy with the scale, I would like the poppies to be a little bit bigger. So I can open up the scale menu and I can just select all three of these and we can drag them. Whoa, bit big, bit big, bit big. Let's go back a bit. Whoa. So we might as well go a little bit crazy here and add one more system. So let's scatter again and let's take a look at what can we find. Let's add some trees and we'll do something like a forest 08. So what you might notice here is we actually have bounding boxes. 
Now, this is actually the tree topology. So, scatter's trying to give you a nice balance. It's trying not to kill your viewport. Let's put it that way. And just when I'm picking up on that subject, you can see here, we actually have security. So, that gives you a bounding threshold for how many polygons you can have on your scene. So, it really does dive deep into handling things like topology. It's absolutely a fantastic add-on. I was looking at some of the back-end coding for the preferences and stuff. Oh, it's sexy as anything. And that pretty much is Scatter 5. Look, I'm not doing this any justice, to be honest. It can go 10 layers deeper than this, from things like elevations to ID maps. Check out the documentation. The documentation, on another note, is absolutely fantastic as well. It's well documented. It's got nice pictures that go along with it. There is example scenes. Is it worth the money? Absolutely. Do me a favour, guys. Like your video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. You know what to do. Take care.